What's up everybody, Paul Hickey here with your data-driven daily tip. We had an amazing event, the Nashville Voice Conference on July 31st, 2019, and we're starting preparations already for Nashville Voice Conference 2020, baby. Um, but as part of that event, we wanted to create our own Snapchat filter around the geolocation of the event, which was at Thistle Farms in Nashville. And so I had our very own Tanner Boriak from our team put together the following tutorial on how to create a Snapchat filter. Enjoy. Hey, this is Tanner from Data Driven Design. And today I'm gonna to be showing you how to create your own Snapchat filter. So first things first, you wanna to go to snapchat.com, come over here and you can click on create. Um, from here, you're gonna have a few different options, community filters, filters, lenses. So we're not going to do the community. That's just for, um, you know, Santa Monica Beach or your local neighborhood, um, something like that. Instead, we're going to do filters here. So click Create Now. Um, and what you'll see when you get in here is a couple options. So they have their own, as it loads here, you'll see they have their own design pieces that you can drag in if you'd like. But also, you can design your own filter with creative tools like Photoshop or Illustrator. Um, the important thing to take note of here is the size of the file, 1080 pixels by 2340 pixels. So what we've done is we've actually gone and created our own file in Photoshop right here for our 2019 Nashville Voice Conference. Um, so a couple things to take note of. You want your um, text and everything um, to be contrasting with whatever background is behind it. So here I made sure my background came and definitely covered up, um, you know, at least behind this end right here so that it's dark enough that if it's completely white behind this background, the end will still show up. What you can do is you can add, um, you know, borders around your text or something like that uh, because you don't want fully white text to disappear behind a white background. You always want to make sure there's contrast. So what I've done is I created this uh, this background element right here that then transitions into a transparent piece. Now you'll notice also I left this space down here. When we come back, you'll see right here, these areas might be cropped on shorter devices. So you want to make sure that um, you at least have some space above and below where there's nothing important. So what we'll go ahead and do is we'll upload a PNG that I exported. So you can see this is a PNG. Um, it's gotta be under a certain size. I think it's three megabytes. Um, you can see that it's a transparent background on the PNG. Um, under 300 kilobytes is the, is the size that you need. So here you can see a preview um, with the guides on and with the guides off. So as you can see with a with a light, almost white background, this end still shows up plenty well. Um, and all of the other text is on a dark background. So this will be how it looks. Uh, you know, someone's imagine someone's face right here um, as they're Snapchatting and using this filter. Um, <clears throat> all right, so the next thing we're gonna do is select the dates. So for us, it's just gonna be today. The 31st, um, make sure we only have it set for today. There. So we're going to go ahead and do it from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Should be good. And now we're going to select the location. So I think, I believe it's called the Cafe at Thistle Farms. There you go. This is where our event's taking place. Now it's drawn this box right here. I can take it, I can maybe move it around some if I like. I might expand it. Um, so what I'll actually do is I'm gonna drag, let's see here if we can do this. I'm gonna drag this guy right here in and expand out this direction. I don't need it all the way at the uh, road, so I'm gonna bring it halfway into the road here. So you have to have a minimum size, so you're gonna wanna make sure that you cover that, but you can create your own geofence here if you'd like. So this covers our event location pretty well. 
that should be fine. Um, I think we were trying to keep it under $10 or so. So I'm going to go ahead and keep expanding and give us a little bit more space here for our filter. All right, so that's a pretty good size space. Um, we're right around $10, $11. Nice. So today, from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m., $10.96. Here's the size of the filter space. Anybody in this geofence should be able to pull the filter up. So we're going to go to checkout. If you want to be safe, you can always expand the filter more, but they charge based on the area covered, just to keep in mind. Okay, so when we go to check out, make sure you get your contact info entered. Um, we chose a business um, for the filter, but you can always use it for a personal. Um, from there, you enter your filter name, the name of your business, um, and then your payment information down here. I'm not going to scroll down, so you're not able to see that. Um, but then once you're here, you're able to review everything, make sure your filter looks right, make sure your geofence looks right. Um, email correct, start time is correct. There you go. So that should cover it uh, for the day for us. We're going to go ahead and submit the filter. And there you go. So from here, the filter is in review. Um, once Snapchat reviews the filter, we'll be able to see, um, see it pop up. Thanks for that, Tanner. Really appreciate it, my friends. I'm Paul Hickey. To do business with me, email me at paul at datadriven.design. For more free digital marketing tips, go to dataoveropinions.com. Thanks and have a great day. And for all of you data freaks out there, or anyone with a website, actually, you don't have to be a data freak, just anyone with a website, you don't have to log into Google Analytics anymore to check how your web data is doing. You can just ask Alexa. For more information on this, go to askdatadrivendesign.com. Thanks and have a great day.